Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on multiplying decimals by positive powers of 10. And by positive powers of 10, I just mean 10, 100, 1000, etc. And the only thing you need to remember for this video is that whenever you multiply by say 10 or 100, it's going to move the decimal point to the right. And the number of zeros on this, so here we've got one zero, here we've got two zeros, here we've got four zeros, that tells you how many places the decimal point is going to move to the right. So this one, we've got one zero, that means this decimal point is going to move one position to the right. And we can see now the decimal point is between the three and the four, so we've got one three point four, that decimal point is between the three and the four. And just use your common sense, that feels about right because this number is approximately 1. When we times it by 10, 1 times 10 is 10, and that's approximately 10. So we can see that the number is getting bigger when we move the decimal point to the right. What about this one? We've got two zeros, and therefore the decimal point moves two places to the right. So now it's between the 3 and the 4. So we've got 3.45. And notice, by the way, that I didn't bother writing the zeros on the front because we don't need to write that there's zero tens or zero hundreds. If you've got zeros on the front and it's before the decimal point, there's no point of writing those zeros on the front there. And what about this last one? We've got four zeros, so therefore we need to move this decimal point four places to the right. So, one, two, three... Four. Uh-oh, well, we've run out of digits. And the easy way to fix that is to just put a zero here. Because if you think about it, that doesn't change the number, because this decimal point here still ensures that this is the unit digit, this is the tenth digit, etc. So we can add zeros onto the end of the number, provided that it's after that decimal point. And now we can see the decimal point is just after that zero. So we've got three, four, seven, nine, zero. Oh. Let's just double check. The decimal point was here originally. One, two, three, four movements. So that is indeed right.